Welcome back everyone. Today we'll be talking about how use of gadgets can harm your spine and why too much stooping can be bad for you. Well, you've heard about iPhone, iPad, and iTunes, but have you heard of iHunch? iHunch was first coined by a physiotherapist in New Zealand after he noticed teenagers coming in with a forward leaning curve of the upper back. You know, back in the days, a hunch posture was associated predominantly with the elderly who sought counsel for back pains. Then also, hunchback used to reflect an individual's emotional outlook in life and is often associated with depression. But now, doctors are witnessing this particular problem grow younger, quote unquote. It's a posture that is alarmingly on the rise among this generation who have the habit of being hunched over phones and devices. This year, about 4.8 billion people in the world own mobile phones, and the vast majority locked down to a sedentary lifestyle. In the course of the pandemic, there has been a significant rise in global trend of screen time through all age groups. Filipinos, for example, spend about 10 hours on average browsing the internet. There is reason to believe that the growing number of back and neck pains are caused by people slouching over while using technology. So what is eye hunch? The main features of this posture includes head bent forward, a stretched out neck, the chin is poked forward, sunken shoulders, the arms are drawn to the torso, and the spine is excessively hunched over. Other terms for eye hunch include eye posture, chicken head posture, poking chin posture, wearsy neck, computer neck, text neck, and dowager's hump. Now how does eye hunch come about? The average head weighs between 5 kilos or about 11 pounds and was designed to stand upright above the spine. The human spine is well suited for an erect upright posture where the other organs get the most benefit. Now it happens that when a person looks down at a handle device, maybe 45, 60, or 90 degree angles, sometimes for hours a day, he puts pressure on the neck and the upper back. Imagine, for every inch of forward head posture, an additional 10 pounds is added for the cervical spine to carry, and the gravity of the stress in the spine further increases as the back is excessively hunched over. A person is constantly in a hunched over position can seriously damage their spine. And this becomes a growing medical concern specifically with children as the head size is larger in relation to the body. So what happens when a person spends a great amount of time stooped this way? In this posture, the muscles of the back of the neck are overworked and they begin to tighten, strain, and shorten. But the muscles of the front of the neck weaken so the chin pokes out. And then the middle and lower back support muscles progressively weaken and the hunching upper back joints eventually become frozen. So what are some things we can do to manage this damaging posture? First, you must keep your head level and the shoulders upright when looking at your phones or your tablets and laptops. Look at your device by lowering your eyes rather than bending your neck. It's better to lift up the phone than strain in a damaging posture. <laughs> and always remember to take regular breaks when using your devices. Second, it is good to stretch your neck muscles. Move your head to the right side until you feel a stretch on the left side of the neck and put your right hand on your head and pull it slightly down. Hold the position for 30 seconds and repeat three times on each side. Third, you may train your neck and shoulder muscles. Put your hands on the back of your head and press forward, pushing your head back with your neck muscles at the same time and hold the position for five seconds and then release. You may also do self-massage to loosen the tight muscles. Twist two to three towels or scarves together in order to make a thick braid-like band and place the band behind your neck, holding one end in each hand and slowly rub the band up and down your neck to ease muscle tension. <coughs> 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 
but when pain is really bothersome, you may take pain relievers and or muscle relaxants. Finally, for chronic types of postural problems, you may enroll in muscle strengthening programs like Pilates or yoga, or consult your doctor for possible physical rehabilitation or even surgery. So from now on, every time you use a phone, remember that the correct posture can help you avoid many health problems in the future and make a conscious effort to improve your posture daily in order to save your spine.